reading this week, uh, you will have read or you will be reading a bit about corpus annotation and uh, a bit about um, some of the most common statistics used uh, when analyzing corpora. And uh, one of the things that we want to do this week is um, take the corpus you've already uh, uploaded onto Sketch Engine and um, compare it to another one to look at keywords. We're also going to be just generating regular word lists and um, looking at a, a couple of different different ways that can be done. Uh, so first of all, let's just assume that you don't have any corpora uh, loaded and let's go through the process of, of loading a corpus just in case. So we have uh, I'm going, to look, I'm going to upload a, uh, a specialized corpus, um, in this case, say, uh, uh, sports. And remember, you have to choose the language. So in most cases, actually, you're going to do it in English for this assignment. Choose the tagger, and we're going to tag your corpus now, and choose next, and we'll choose one of the sketch grammars. Um, this one here I find to be uh, reliable, which is the the Tree Tiger 2.2. I'll be dealing with that more in the semester. And then I'll ask you to load the corpus. I have this on my computer here. So I'm going to add upload from the disk, choose file, and I have here a number of spoken corpora that I've downloaded uh, over the years. And one of these here is to do with sports or football. Okay. So we'll open that and hit next. And here you see a little preview of what the corpus looks like. Make sure it's what you expect. And then that part is done of the uploading part. Now what we're going to do is make sure that we compile the corpus. You see that the tree tagger 2.2 has been selected. Compile. And since I think there's about probably 20,000 tokens in this mini corpus, it won't take very long. Obviously, if you have millions of, of tokens, it would take much longer. These three green lines indicate that it's been done. And you click OK. And now you have, or hopefully we'll have here, it's only 13,000 tokens. What I have here is a corpus that has been tagged, uh, POS tagged, or part of speech tagged. And what that, why that's important, what this allows us to do is, if you open this in Sketch Engine now, corpus, is now you can run queries, queries on it that you, you couldn't do otherwise. So, um, for example, We'll take the word uh, throw, and since uh, this has been limitized, sorry,
Okay, clearly I've done something wrong here. Let's look what's going on. Let's look at the corpus itself. It's okay. You can see that it has indeed been tagged. So let's try this again. There we go. So as you can see, I put in the word throw, and since this has been lemmatized with the tree tagger, um, you get every form, any every inflected form of that that verb. So throw, through, throwing, thrown, throws, and so on. And therefore we can uh, run a, a uh, word sketch. Throw as verb. see some of the data that produces throw a flag, throw a ball, throw an interception, all things that are common in, in football lingo. And since you will have read a bit about statistics, obviously you know about frequency, but now you see that over here you have um, a score that is reflective of especially its mutual information with uh, these um, these words here, or the MI score, which I think in Sketch Engine is also uh, informed by also other association another association score, but it's mostly MI. And um, of course, you can run uh, concordances. Now, um, what I would like you to do is to uh, go ahead and, and do uh, everything that I've just done, but save your work. So um, go ahead and, uh, first of all, do a word sketch. I've just done. It's this verb. And please save the word sketch, whatever word you choose. save that and you'll be able to to view it save that for reference you'll be needing it later also um, look at your concordance and look at it in two ways um, if you write a concordance like like I've just done.
have a look at this over here the, on the left side of the, of the screen, um, this view options. And here you'll be able to see that it's been tagged. And so please do this so you can, you can see how it's been tagged. And so run a concordance. And also look at how this has been tagged. So you have verbs, obviously, and then here you have terrific, the terrific throw as a noun. And save. that concordance with the tags shown. Once again, you'll be able to view that later if you like, and it'll look like this. By the way, you can also, going back to the concordance, You can also, if you like, see every single tag that has been assigned each token to each token in the in your corpus. That can be a little bit dizzying, but you can check to see how reliable it's been tagged, and that can be interesting as well. Finally, uh, what I'd like you to do is to generate a word list from this corpus. Now, I want you to generate a word list of two types. First of all, um, simply uh, just a general list of all tokens. Say, you can choose a minimal, minimum frequency with something as with a corpus as small as this, we can, we can make it just one. With a larger corpus, maybe you, you want to increase that minimum frequency. And go ahead and generate a word list. Here you see the, the token frequency. And here, what I'd like you to do is go ahead and save that list as well. Right. You'll be able to see that it looks like this. Now, I'd also like you to generate a word list, a different word list, but from the same corpus. But this time, I'd like you to only uh, to generate uh, a word list of the lemmas in the corpus. So your corpus has now been lemmatized because of the tagger that, that you've used. And generate a word list of lemmas. And here you have all the words lemmatized. And I want you to go ahead and save that word list. Right. Finally, the last step is we're going to compare our, our corpus, this corpus, a specialized corpus, to another corpus to check for keywords. So in order to do that, 